lion hearts? Well, it's your old pal Jordan the lion, and as you can tell, I'm in the airport today. <laughs> and we're taking off to go to, well, we're flying to Rome, but we're going somewhere after that. Guess who I just ran into? <laughs> One of my biggest heroes in the world, Wayne Quinn from the Flaming Lips. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right. All right. Wayne, how crazy is that? I've met you a few times. Well, I know. I know. I, 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 I think I've run from you a couple of times, <laughs> but this time you caught up with me. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I had my soft bulletin record, and you decorated the whole thing for oh, me when excellent. I met you last time. Oh, excellent. Yeah, what are you, yeah. Where are you off to? We're what are you guys doing? To, we're going to land in Brisbane, and then we're going to play some shows all through Australia ending up at the Sydney Opera House for two nights. How no kidding. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, you you are by far probably the most amazing musician out oh, there today. So thank oh, you for continuing well, to do you. what you do. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for having me on your show. So Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. They're not here for you, Frank. Weird Al Yankovic's on the plane. So our final destination today is gonna to be Florence, and we're gonna take a train there, but by the time we get there, it'll be night. So we'll just continue this vlog into tomorrow, and we'll go do some sightseeing today in the vlog, but it'll be tomorrow. Okay, so we gotta take a train to Rome, then another one to Florence. Make sure you always validate your ticket here. Yeah, get a good look. This is as much a Rome as we're gonna see. Our train takes off to Florence in about 10 minutes. Slowly pulling into the station comes my horse. Come on, Trigger. So in this train, we actually have assigned seats. I should be right in there. I'm right here. All right, check out my place. I got an Airbnb. This place is incredible. And since so many people from my channel signed up for new Airbnb memberships, I got like half of my stay for free. So there's an outdoor area I'll show you. And then my bedroom is up there. Then you come out of the doors and you've got an outdoor eating area if you want, or just kind of a lounging area. Got a laundry. And I'll show you guys the upstairs. Yeah, I think nightly, this place was like $60 a night. Not bad at all. And like I said, I had so many people sign up for new Airbnb memberships that I got half of it for free. All right, it's daytime. Let's go explore some Florence. We're gonna walk about a mile and check out Michelangelo's David. And of course, we're gonna check out a few things along the way. So Florence is a big deal because it was the birthplace of the Renaissance. Looks like there's a protest of some sort today. Wow. Take a look at Florence. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I walked through here last night. People just kind of hang out. It's great. Check it out, 
So I brought some rosary along that I'm gonna wear on this trip and we're gonna take it to Lennard when we get back home, take it to his grave site. <laughs> Looks like most of these people are going to the protests. There's the dome. You can actually take 430 something or 480 something stairs and climb all the way to the top if you want. We might, I don't know. Not today. It is super busy here today. Now there is a bit of a line, so I do recommend you come early in the day if you can. Gallery Academia. There he is. This is also by Michelangelo. On our way down, we'll check out a few things. It's his Prigioni. Now let's take a look at Michelangelo's Matteo. So here is Michelangelo's David, created in 1501 to 1504. It was originally meant to be um, one of the tops of the one of the roof liners of one of the buildings here, but they thought it so beautiful they put it outside and had it on display um, outside in a plaza where we're gonna go today. And it sat there where it was unveiled in 1504 until the 1870s. And they realized that they wanted to save it from the weather, so they brought it inside here and they placed a replica out where the original was. But this is the original. This is Michelangelo's Renaissance masterpiece, David. Look at that, isn't that amazing? idea how big it truly is. There's the base going all the way up. And I couldn't come here and not get a selfie. Come on. Since this is such an amazing historical piece, I want to get every angle of it and kind of really take it in. interesting now I just noticed there's a slash along his back and whatever that sash is attached to he's holding on to something in his hand And this piece is by Lorenzo Bartolini. As well as these pieces. I'm not sure what all the holes and everything are all about. All of his art has that. 
You see that? Where they almost look like they have the chicken pox. <laughs> and this one's titled Juno. Sorry, you don't come to Florence and not take in the art. We're gonna explore the art. And trust me, you guys won't even be seeing a fraction of what I get to see. This is definitely a pretty popular place. See that with the lion? This one's by Pompoloni. Now I think I kind of get it with Bartolini. You can see those are nails coming out of the ear and then right over here. My friends, we're going to call it a day here. You'll see the rest of this tomorrow because we have some more epic stuff to do today. Have a great night and goodbye from Florence.